We welcome all Woodbury residents to come out and enjoy our trail system. The approved uses would be walkers, runners, cyclists, rollerbladers, scooters are all welcome to use the trail system and then no motorized vehicles are allowed. All users should yield to other trail users. No matter if you're running or walking, you're going to be yielding to somebody else. And typically the faster trail user needs to yield to the slower trail user. All users should stay to the right. If you stay to the right, any oncoming trail users will be on their right side as well, and that gives you plenty of room to pass. Typically, larger groups want to take up more of the trail, which is fine. You stay to the right in your large group, and then be ready to get single file if you need to, to allow other users to safely pass by. If you're a faster trail user, you need to yield to other trail users. Make sure that they see you visually or they hear you verbally announce your passing. Give them a chance to step to the right. You can safely pass at that point. We also advise cyclists to control their speed and bicycle based on the volume of other trail users. Limited sight lines, blind corners, elevation changes. Those should all make you go a little bit slower and be more cautious. If you're unable to safely stop without skidding or swerving when you want to go past another trail user, you're going too fast and you need to slow down. It's important for cyclists, rollerbladers, skateboarders, scooters, users to have a helmet and any other safety equipment that you feel is necessary. It's also great for trail users to not have headphones in or at least at a high volume. If you can't hear other trail users announcing their passing, that's going to cause issues and user conflicts. You want to make sure that other trail users can visually see you passing or you verbally let them know that you want to pass. One other safety tip is to keep your dog on a leash and keep your dog close to you so it's not stretched across the trail. Leashes have a tendency to catch other users. And we do allow e-bikes on the trail. We follow the Minnesota State statutes. They must be pedal assist and your bike has to pedal in order to use it on our trail system. If you do come across any maintenance issues, please notify the city right away. We want to make sure that we take care of those and provide you with the safe user experience on our trails. And then make sure that trail users look out for each other. The more we look out for each other, the more we're aware of our own surroundings and we notify other people that we're approaching, the better it is for everybody and everybody's experience will be fun.